Hello everyone and welcome back to Conquest where today it's challenge time. Alright, so this challenge I saw a couple of videos ago, can't really remember when I saw it, but I do remember seeing it and I thought it was a pretty good idea. So basically the challenge, try to use every single piece of ore in a sector for something. So if there's any veins of copper, we have to mine them and they have to go somewhere. They have to be doing something and incinerators don't count. So I think what the plan is, I'm just going to go grab... Uh, a couple sectors here. I have six lined up to be attacked and then we're just going to pick the one with the most space or the most ore or the most stuff and we'll do it there. All right, let's get started. All right, let's go grab sector 12. It's a medium and I think I am going to put these all in simulation cores and then when I find the one that I'm actually going to do, then I can start building from there. All right, let's do it. Well, I can tell you right now, this sector will probably not be the one that we do the challenge on, as there is only salt, lead, and coal. There's not even any coal here. I lied. There's salt, lead, and copper. Okay, see, now the issue is the rest of these are low, and there's one extra medium, so we might have to go find a different sector to do this on. But, well, let, let's, take, let's take a look at these first. All right, 157, you're up. Another salt area, huh? Interesting. Okay, well, we got some stone down here, so that's pretty neat. I guess this is like basalt or whatever, but... Yeah, the ore veins are bigger here, and I think there's some infected water here, but other than that, again, not much here. Alright, next up is 243, another low threat. Oh boy. And there's somehow even less stuff here. Okay, well, we might have to go pick a different region of the planet to do this in. Good grief. At least this one has spores, though. So that's something. Next up, 244. Yet another low threat. This one's got some promise to it. It's got a lot more stuff. And... Yeah, maybe we will do this one here. There's a lot of ore in very annoying places that we'd have to do stuff with. We might end up doing this one. I kind of like that idea. Okay, you know what? 244, you're the current contender. But if these two are any better, then you're getting off the list. All right, next up, let's do 237 first because it's another low threat and we'll save 89, which is a medium for last. All right, I might actually do this one too, because this one, I'd argue, is a little bit worse than the other one, because there's way more stuff to deal with here. All right, yeah, 237, you're the current contender. Unless 89 can beat you. Let's find out. To which 89 replied, yes, I can. All right, I think we're going to have to do 89. The only reason is, it's got titanium. 237 does not, but... 89 also doesn't have any scrap, which does make my life a little easier because then I don't have to run separators everywhere. But I think this one's going to have more potential to do interesting things with considering the large veins of uh, titanium. More titanium. We got a little bit of oil and, as you can see, black sand everywhere. All right. And another thing that I just noticed... I did not realize how little of this planet that I have left. I thought there was so much more. Okay, so we got this, this, and that's it. That's all that's left. Wow. Okay. Um, there is uh, a lot less to do than I thought. I did just have a thought. There is, in fact, an enemy base here. So that means this will get attacked again. Unless I take that base out immediately. Which we could do, but I don't know yet. So let me go check how big the drop zone is and how much ore is actually in it. The oil pit's in there. Dang it. Okay, yep. Uh, we looks like we might have to go take out that enemy base. You know what? Why don't we just do that now? But let's go wipe out 149 before we have to deal with it attacking Sector 89. Wow, this is a this is quite a sector here. Um, I might have to change my mind for the third time this video on which one I do. 
Well, that's inconvenient. I mean, look at all the stuff here. This is beautiful. And it looks like we only got one core and it's right up at the top. All right, let's get this wiped out, reroute our exports to here. And for the third time, we'll be changing our mind. 149, oh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna re-change my mind because there's two bases attacking 149. We're gonna, <laughs> dude, make up your mind, man. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're sticking with 89. I'm not gonna go get these two after I've done this one. No, it, what, we're stopping. There has to be a point we stop. Okay, we're gonna do 89. Shush. It appears that I did not bring enough silicon, which is not good. Let's grab some real quick just from our actual silicon export hub. All right, we've gathered up 12 of them. Let's go get rid of this core. Now, where was it? Over here? All right, what are we dealing with? Bunch of annoying things, bunch of annoying things um, that we can go around you and looks pretty easy to me. Yep, hopefully 12 is enough. Hopefully crash damage kicks in and hopefully we just get this thing destroyed. Well, rats. Okay, looks like we're gonna need some more units. Uh, good thing we've got five. Unfortunately, ran out of graphite. All right, got eight more. Let's go get this stupid sector over with, man. I just wanna build some factories today. Should we just do the exact same thing again? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Someone important said that, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember who it was. And then someone else who was smart said third time's the charm. Unfortunately, now we're out of titanium, so now I have to go launch that. All right, there we go. Let's just get this sector over with, man. All right, third time's the charm. This stupid wave has been destroying my units before they get there. I'm not happy. We're out of silicon again. Are you serious? Dude, if I don't get it with these five, I'm gonna... Mm. Get out of here. Tsunami. That didn't work. I hate everything. I have to go get more silicon now. Ugh. All right, well, I made 14 of them this time. If this isn't enough, I'm gonna lose it. I think I said that last time, and then I did lose it. So we're gonna extra lose it. Good grief, dude. I hate this stupid sector. I don't even care if it falls. I just wanted to make sure that 89 didn't get attacked so we could actually build some factories in here. Are we good? We're good. Okay. Why don't we go and, uh... Hmm. I've got an idea. Pow, 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 power. Okay, well, we killed two of them. I think now it's ready and hopefully it'll destroy everything. But if it doesn't, I'm gonna throw it on a couple Lancers as well because Lancers are good. So let's chuck them on the water over here. All right, now hopefully they'll die. I'm actually gonna move up here. All right. Yep, they died. Very nice. You know, strange thing I noticed about this sector, all of the enemies are in the Nova tech tree. Weird. Doesn't matter though, because they're dead. And the sector's done. All right, beautiful. Now, we need to make a self-sustaining factory that uses basically every single ore vein on this entire map. Now, originally I was thinking I was gonna use everything, you know, try to one-up the challenge, you know, try to use every single thing, but black sand is literally everywhere and I don't really want to deal with that. Ores? Still using all those. Water, we'll get there when we get there. But like spores and uh, black sand, I'll use it if I need to. But otherwise, I think I'm just going to put like batteries or solar panels in there or something. Okay, first order business. We need to tear this core down and we need to get a factory down for some building units. Looks like we're getting some of our uh, sectors captured. Yep, there's 157, 237, 243, 244. And there's, I guess there's only one left. Yeah, 12. And there's only four waves. Nice. And also, I think Sector Zero just got attacked. Yeah, it survives one wave. I don't care. I've got future plans for this, so there's nothing to worry about here. And also, yes, I did see that 94 fell. I just didn't care because it's by Planetary Launch Terminal and future plans again. So we're good. Let's get some unit factories, huh? All right, there we go. Unit factories are down. Of course, now we need some power. So let's just throw down some quick RTGs and an overdrive dome. Just for now, eventually we're gonna have our own self-sustaining power setup over here, but we need to actually get units to build the self-sustaining power setup, so let's do this first. All right, there we go. 
And let's let that cook. And while we're letting that cook, let's go scout around. Let's get rid of all these boulders. We don't need these here. I think there's also a steam achievement for removing all the boulders. So maybe I should just go remove some boulders on, like, some video, you know? Oh, I guess we can get rid of our power setup, too. All right. Oh, missed some. There we go. All right. I think all the boulders have been removed now. And I also think the power setup is going to be going down here. Or maybe up here. Oh, and there's our last sector. Okay, sector 12 is captured. That means we got all of the six that we originally set out to do, plus 149. Sweet. Okay. I, yeah, actually, I think the power setup is going to be over here. We've got enough space over here. There's not a lot of ore in the area, and what there is in the area, we can kind of work around it. Oh, yeah, another thing that I've just noticed. We're not going to be able to get every single piece of ore, are we? Because this right here, I don't think there's a configuration of drills that lets you get everything. Well, that's annoying. I'm going to get most of it then. Oh, well. But I think we're going to go with some impact reactor setups, mostly because, you know, there's spores and there's black sand in the sector. Uh, maybe, like, 10 impact reactors? Maybe, like, 12? Four, it's four cryo mixers to three impacts, so maybe we do, like, nine. So we've got our uh, impacts laid out. There's 12 of them total. We're going to put uh, the these liquid containers in the middles here, and then the uh, blast compound is going to go here, here, and here. So I think first let's get the cryo fluid made. So we need... 16 mixers I'm gonna be making use of a lot of plastinium belts and I need to make sure that I'm not building over anything so I'm probably gonna to have to fly around my units like every seven seconds and it's going to get very annoying we're gonna have oh dude you know this is gonna get really frustrating too because now I have to mine this copper here I can't just leave it there okay you know what that's gonna to have to do if it's ugly it's ugly oh yeah we're gonna to need to kickstart this huh Yay. For now, we can also get the blast compound being made. Now, I'm pretty sure there was a nice ratio. Two of these, two blast mixers for three of these, so we need eight blast mixers. That's not too bad. Oh, it fits perfectly. Oh, let's go. And we need six sand and six lead. So sand is going to be easy. We can just do this. Okay, this is getting extremely annoying. I literally can't see what I'm building. Okay, here's to hoping that that's enough lead. I highly doubt it, though. Okay, and now we also need to get lead up here. Where's the nearest lead vein that I haven't used? Okay, this is going to be an issue because lead looks like it's going to be a problem on this sector. So hopefully we'll try to find stuff that doesn't involve a lot of lead. That should be it for the pyrotite. Now we just need to, again, power it on, and now we need to get spores. How many spores per do? We need 0.75, so we need three. So we need six spores total, three each. Yeah, that looks like it works. See, now look at that. They're in the way again. This is going to be a very, very frustrating thing to deal with. All right, so that looks like that looks legit. How much power do we have? Not a lot, but I think it might be able to power this for like seven seconds. All right, so spores have been done. I've connected up the lines here. Try not to go over any ore veins, but obviously we have no idea how well that went because this is very compact. Um, now we got to power this side, so let's try that. I bet this is the point where we're going to run out of power. And yeah, we're negative 600, but we have batteries, so let's just let this cook for a bit. Now, unfortunately, there is no scrap and there's no thorium. So we can't use overdrive domes, but we can use overdrive projectors. You get a boost, you get a boost, you get a boost. We're going to reroute some coal so you can get a boost. Sector 149? I just, I don't care. You can have it, bro. Oh, these are on. Well, okay. Works for me, man. Plug in this other half. Start getting these kicked on. All right. Yep. I think our power problem is sorted. Now, we did use a lot of ore here, but that's good because we need to use all of this anyway. So now let's try to figure out how we're going to get some of this out of here. I think, you know, some of the stuff I can just send to the core. All right. You know what? This this line here, I think we're just going to put this as like the here's everything that I can't really fit into anything at the moment line. And this will just go straight to the core. We're going to have to do this at some point, so we may as well just get it out of the way now. What am I going to do with this titanium besides just put it into the core? Like, there's almost nothing I can do with it. These are going to be turned into some kind of factory, but this stuff is probably just going to get shipped to the core. There's no point messing with it. Since I've mined all the ore that I can in this, this kind of region, let's fill this all in with either solar panels or batteries. <laughs>
Alrighty, there we go. I'd say the uh, Build Batteries Basically Everywhere program has been going pretty well. It looks like I missed a couple spots here. You know, it's really hard to see with all of the, uh, you know, units flying around and everything, but I think other than that, we have now officially got batteries covering basically the entire place over here. Okay, that's our power setup. Grand total, we're storing 6.8 million, and we are generating 115,000. Let's go and build the largest plastanium you've ever seen out of this titanium here and a bunch of the black sand. All right. That's the top one. We also need to get these drills down here done. Get out of the way! Oh my god, everything's in the way and I hate it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, there we go. There's our there's our plastanium production. Everything is good. We're using up this huge vein. There's some other ore veins in here that I just don't care about. Um, you know what? Why don't we just do, like... Yep, we're using this coal for something, guys. Yep, there's so much here. Ugh. Oh, okay, you know what? Let's just start uh, copper. What can we use copper for? Well, we're already making some stuff with copper. We're not doing it up here. We're doing it down there. So let's just mine all this and get it out of here, yes? Oh, you know what we don't have going into the core right now? A large vein of titanium. Let's grab it. There we go. All right, so everything up towards the core is now officially mined. You know what? Let's just go work on surge alloy now. We might as well, right? We got a lot of ore veins down here to work with. Now, I think I wrote a message in here. Yeah, 26 lead, 19.2 silicon, copper, and then 12 titanium. All right, let's get that. All right, now we link these up like that and like that. And that is now our surge factory done. Yep, and we can slam that into another mass driver, which will then take this straight up to the core, or I guess a series of mass drivers because we are running out of space to do literally anything. Okay, there we go, surge factory done, and it only took up about the entire sector. Okay, now the real question is we've got so much ore left and I don't know what to do with it. Man, you know, I didn't think this challenge was going to be very difficult. I thought it was just going to be put a bunch of drills down on everything, but I didn't think it'd be figure out what to use it on. I guess I could just make a mass driver distribution system to just try to get everything to my core. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. All right, bam, this region done, and I'm pretty sure we have the throughput to make it. Do we? It's starting to back up, and I'm getting a bit worried. This one isn't powered up here, that's why. There we go, now that should fix that problem. I'm mining so much that the uh, mass drivers can't keep up and I'm running out of space to move the mass driver stuff over here. So we need to find another uh, another thing that we can use these resources on. And you know, I was just thinking for a second, you know, just staring at the map like, hmm, what am I gonna do? There's so much here and I don't know what to do with it. And then I thought, wait a minute, launch pads. I can just launch everything to a different sector and then deal with it there. You know what? All the rest of this stuff is getting launched. Let's go. Alrighty, I think we've just about got every single ore mined on this planet possible. I've even done the oil lakes and we are getting them all sent off to a launch pad. Now we just need to figure out where are we going to send it? I think I have an idea. It's going to involve a little bit of uh, tinkering, but for now let's turn these all on. We're going to watch our power plummet from 83k to 42k. 
This is indeed a very large factory. There is no point to ever do this. This is a complete waste of time, and yet here we are. All right, now let's go find that destination I was talking about. To do this, we're going to need to uh, launch a core, say 149. All right, now we're at 149, and then let's launch it over to 149. Now I am gonna sit here for a little bit, just because I wanna see how much we're actually making here. It's probably not a lot, and I've definitely missed some in some places, but at this point, I don't think it really matters that much because we are mining quite literally everything on this planet. So, let's see. We gave it a little bit. It wasn't that long. We're making... That's it? 3.4k coal per minute. That's not surprising at all. Let's just speed this up just a little bit. All right, how about now? How much are we making? Yeah, that seems more reasonable. Not a lot of stuff because I did not take the liberty to water cool anything because I don't really think there's a need to. There's so much here. I've done everything that I could with it. Honestly, let's just get rid of it all. Speaking of getting rid of it all, 149 is now gone. And it's also back to being an enemy base. That's very annoying, but that's also good to know. But anyways, now the destination is none also known as the sun. We are launching all of this garbage into the sun, which means I no longer have to deal with it. Goodbye.